Hello and welcome to seed prod. In this video, I wanted to talk about productive seed prod templates that you should know about. And the three main ones are pages, sections, and blocks. So this is for new users to seed prod. If you're not familiar with seed prod, please visit seedprod.com and click on get seed prod to select the account that makes the most sense for you. In this video, we're going to assume that you already have seed prod installed. If you don't, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the website, click on documentation under the helpful links, click on getting started. And right here, you'll see installing and activating the Pro plugin. There's instructions here on how to install and activate the Pro plugin of Seedprod. And at the bottom, we have a video tutorial as well that you might find helpful. So first off, I want to talk about the Seedprod templates for pages. So on the left-hand side, we have Seedprod, and then we have Pages here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And when you select a certain mode, Seedprod is going to actually ask you for a template that you want to select. So if we create a new landing page here, you can see that the next step is to choose a new page template. Now, if you use Seedprod, you've probably seen this already. This is more for people that aren't familiar with Seedprod. There's over 150 plus professionally designed and mobile friendly templates here that you can click and it'll instantly import that into your page. So for example, let me pick this one. I'll click the check mark. I'll just give it a name and I'll call this one page templates and then save and start editing the page. So there you go. This is the first extremely productive way to start using Cprod and creating WordPress pages. So we've imported this page. It's already created for you. And we have the blocks in this template that we can edit instantly. So there we go. Cprod is amazing and you can be too. The next thing I want to talk about are sections. So inside the actual Cprod page builder, we have a sections tab up here. So if we click on the blocks to come back, we have blocks and sections. So right now we have different sections on our page. So up here, this is one section. You can see the purple outline there. We come down, we have another section. And at the bottom of the page, we have a social media section here as well. Now if we click on sections, we have all of these pre-made ones that we can put into our page for headers, heroes, call to actions, FAQ features, and footer. We also have some saved ones, testimonials, and your favorites. So here we can see all of the sections if we just scroll through here quickly. So you can see these. And I'll just pick a random one here, maybe the client's one. We'll go ahead and hit the plus sign here. And this will actually add this into the bottom of our page, but we can move this up a little further if we wanted to do that. And then we can click on the section settings and we can just make some modifications to this page. So maybe I want a, a certain light gray background instead of one of the other colors. You can customize this fully however you want. You can also add more blocks into this specific section. It's totally customizable what you want to do with this. So you can remove blocks if you don't like something. You have total control over this. So sections are the second most important productive templates that you should know about in Seedprod. And just to quickly mention that you can customize this and save this section. And then if you come under section under the save section here, this will show that there that so you can reuse it over and over. And that comes us to our third most productive Seedprod template you should know about, which are blocks. Now blocks, we already have the standard blocks and the advanced blocks and the WooCommerce blocks, but we also have saved blocks down here here that you should know about. So let's say that we have a section that you want to reuse on your website over and over and it's a certain block. So for example, we could take this header and do something special with it, maybe add color or you could italicize it or do whatever you wish. So there we go. I just made a couple changes. Now we can go ahead and click the save block here and then you can give it a block template name. I'll just call this custom heading and I'll save this template. And there we go. The template has now been saved into seed prod. So I could come to anywhere on my page here that I like, come back to my blocks, scroll all the way to the bottom under my my save blocks. And here we can see we have the custom heading. So now I can drag this into my page somewhere and it's the exact same block. If you're having problems seeing your save block, just hit save and you can refresh the page. And then all of your save blocks here should appear and there shouldn't be any problems. So again, I can now use this. It's a little template. I can use this wherever I want into my designs as many times as I like. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you be more productive with Seedprod, knowing about the three main templates that you can use.